What we want to look at in this video is how to use Power BI to connect to a table of data and just extract certain information from that table of data contained in a website. Now the transformations that I'm going to show you in this video some people might find quite daunting but the more videos that you watch on connecting to different data sources and transformations the easier using Power BI will become. So the website we're going to look at and the sample we're going to look at is this website steamd.com and the second name here is a username. Now steamd.com holds data that's contained in a blockchain database for a social media website and we're going to extract if we scroll down some data from this particular table here. We're going to extract the name we are going to extract the voting power and we are also going to extract the effective SP. And we're going to do this for two different users on the website. And we need this data in their own columns so that they can be used in further analysis. So let's hop over to Power BI and let's see how we can connect and transform this data into a usable format. So the first thing we're going to do is say get data and we're going to go to more and we're going to go to other and web and say connect. Now we're going to put it in our website and select OK. And this will then go off to the website and it'll have a look and analyze the particular website, see if there's any tables and it'll come back then with details of any tables of data that it's been able to find. And we can see it's connecting there and it is now bringing up the tables of data. Now we can look at our web view and we can have our table view and it's the table view that we want. Now we can look at all of these tables of data until we find the table that we want. And this table, table zero, is the table we want. So once we've found it, we can select it and then we can edit it. And we need to edit it because we don't need the entire table of data. So the first thing we've noticed is we have our attributes in a column. And we have the data also in a column. And we want to have three attributes. We want to take the name, we wanted to take the voting power, and right down the very bottom, we wanted to take the effective SP. And we want each of these in their own column. And we don't want any of the other data. So how would we go about this transformation? Well, first of all, if we could get our attribute names to our column headers. So to do this, if we go to transform and select transpose, so now we have our attributes in columns, but not in column headers. So we can select use first rows as column headers. You can do it from here or from the transform ribbon. So now we have very quickly created the attributes as column headers. We needed our name column. We need our voting power. And we also need our effective SP which is down the bottom. Now it's quicker, there's quite a lot of columns here and we only need three, so it's quicker to select three and go to home, remove other columns, than to select all the columns that we don't want and then remove them. The final step in this part of the transformation is to change the data type. So I'm going to change the voting power to percentage and the effective SP to a decimal number. So now we have one account pulled in. Let's pull in a second account. So very quickly, we can duplicate this. And when we duplicate it, we still have Steam at BC in here. So instead of going through all of the steps, what we can do is in the home ribbon, if we go to our advanced editor, this brings up our M code. And M is the language used behind the query in Power BI. And we can change in here the account and we'll change it to my account and say done. And this very quickly updates and brings in my details instead of the previous account details. And I'll just change the name on that just so we don't get confused. And in the first table, I'm now going to append queries. And append queries will allow me to sit one query 
on top of the other query so both the sets of data are in the one table so now we have the voting power and the effective SP, which can be used then in further calculations. We have looked at connecting to a website. We have looked at finding the table of data, transforming that table of data into a usable format. We've looked at duplicating that transformation using and then using the advanced editor to quickly change the user. And then we have appended the query, so we now have the table all in one. If you liked this video, please do give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. There is a also a link below this video to a article that contains full details and links used in this video. If you want to see this in you done in Excel, you'll also find a link below this video to how it can be done in Excel. My name is Paula Guilfoyle. Thank you very much and goodbye now.